The half-wave rectifier that we uh, analyzed in the previous video had an output that was non-zero for only half of the period. The voltage during the other half of the period was dropped across the reverse bias diode. This full-wave rectifier that we see here provides positive voltage to the load during both halves of the cycle. To accomplish this, the circuit uses a center-tapped um, transformer with a third terminal connected to the center of the secondary winding. This terminal is grounded and the other two terminals are connected through diodes to the load. So the center tap is grounded to the same reference as the load and then both of the diodes are connected to the positive reference terminal in the load. Notice in this case that the total voltage across the secondary is two times V sub S. We have from the reference or ground going up to this terminal there's a positive reference on V sub S and then from here down to this terminal there is a drop in reference of V sub S. During the positive half of the cycle diode 1 conducts and brings a positive load to the or positive voltage to the load. With this positive voltage here and this then with a negative reference to ground D2 is reverse biased. So during the positive half of the cycle, D1 carries the uh, voltage to the load. During the second half or the negative half of the cycle, this voltage here then is positively referenced to here. And with a positive reference, this diode connects, bringing the positive, again, positive to the um, load. With this being positive, D1 is reverse biased. So in this process, D1 brings the positive voltage to the load during this part of the cycle and D2 when the polarity on the secondary is reversed so that this terminal here is positive relative to this terminal D2 then conducts during this part of the cycle but the way it's wired up it once again with reference to ground gives a positive lobe Thus the load experiences a positive voltage during both halves of the cycle and thus the name full wave rectifier. As we saw in the half wave rectifier there is a, fall, a small voltage required to, um, to bring the diodes into a conducting region and so the actual voltage that the load is exposed to is the voltage of the source reduced by one voltage drop or reduced by V sub D we can determine the peak inverse voltage across the reverse biased diode by looking at the circuit. During the positive cycle, at the point that the, input, uh, that the source is at its peak, the voltage at this point right here will be V sub S minus V sub D, the voltage drop across the diode. And at the same time, as we've already noted, the voltage at the bottom terminal of the transformer will be at negative V sub S. So the peak inverse then will be the voltage on this side which is V sub S minus V naught. The voltage here is negative V sub S so we have then the peak inverse voltage is equal to V sub S minus V sub D minus the voltage on this side which is minus V sub S or the peak inverse voltage is then V 2 V sub S minus V sub D.